Staples is proud to produce the Raising Cannabis Capital podcast. Today's episode will begin after this brief message from our sponsor. This ain't no desk job, but it's what you got to do to scale up to this in a single growing season. It's how in Oregon alone, we grew and harvested the single largest crop of CBG in the world. Grit, tenacity, hell, whatever you want to call it, the crew at Hampdown USA has it by the bucket load. Just getting our seeds in the ground back in spring and growing them till fall was nothing short of heroic. Propagation, planting, maintaining what we have, and building what we need. Trust me, this shit ain't easy. But when it comes to harvest time, our team bumps the bar up to a whole new level. Next comes processing. Everything but the top flower goes off to get turned into crude, distillate, isolate, and water-soluble ready. Our product, like our team, is nothing less than best in class. This plant has always had the power to change the world, but it needs people to make it happen. We're lucky to have those people right here at Hamptown, USA. So we now have a few different brands under the High Times umbrella, including Green Rush Daily, Dope, and Culture. And then we just announced we signed an agreement, a definitive agreement to acquire The Big Show, which is a B2B conference. I think that there's an, an amazing opportunity in the conference space and really reuniting these brands with a single sales force and really connecting brands to consumers through different mediums and platforms. From MJ Bulls Media, it's the Raising Cannabis Capital Show. Today on MJ Bulls Raising Cannabis Capital Series, we're joined by Adam Levin, CEO of High Times. Adam, thanks for being on the MJ Bulls podcast. Hey, thanks for having me. You know, High Times Magazine... It's such an iconic brand throughout the world. Like for, what, over 40 years, the magazine's kind of been the heart and soul. It's been the voice of the industry. But you didn't start it. In 2016, you purchased this company. Can you tell our listeners how you did that? So I purchased the media company. So it's more than a magazine today. I mean, it's 43 years old. And it was started by Tom Fassad really as a farce initially. But I purchased, along with a group of investors that I was led by myself in uh, March of 2017, actually, the media properties that were High Times and HighTimes.com and 420.com in March of 2017. And we bought 60%. For a, at a valuation of $70 million. Wow. I'm sure all my listeners know about the magazine. I think the point that most people don't realize is that it is way bigger than a magazine now. It's a, you know, it's a full-blown ma- media company. Maybe talk about some of the other verticals that are under the High Times umbrella. So we now have a few different brands under the High Times umbrella, including Green Rush Daily, Dope and culture. And then we just announced we signed an agreement, a definitive agreement to acquire The Big Show, which is a B2B conference. I think that there's an, an amazing opportunity in the conference space and really reuniting these brands with a single sales force and really connecting brands to consumers through different mediums and platforms. So obviously have HighTimes.com and 420.com and then Green Rush Daily and all these owned and operated websites. We also manage some other third-party traffic today, including all of our Instagram and, and Facebook channels, but literally have nearly 30 salespeople selling media placement and other services, business services today that include digital and branding services to really companies that want to reach this can of consumer. I've had so many guests on this show who are struggling with the problem of getting to that cam- cannabis demographic. And I think that's what your the value of your company, your organization, is that you talk directly to the consumer. You These people 
are coming to you. And, and that consumer is highly sought after, like you said today. I think it's much different than it was five, ten years ago when you know you just wanted to – stoners weren't that sought after demographic. But today, companies in the space that want to reach consumers have capital. They have capital to spend, so that's great for our business. and really gives our business the ability to grow. It's having a customer that can pay for a service. And obviously are establishing themselves as brands. To me, there is no bigger brand than High Time. So we have that credibility as a trusted brand and a trusted partner from that 43 years of, of heritage that we have where we've fought the fight to end prohibition. Today are helping brands really reach that consumer, like I said. So No, it's not just cannabis brands that, that are having trouble reaching the consumer. It's mainstream brands. And you're... Mainstream brands, pop chips today and Toyota. I mean, <laughs> our advertisers. And who would have ever thought five years ago that brands like that would be reaching consumers through high times. And you're just touching the tip of the iceberg. As things continue to change, you're the one that has access. It's just incredible. We're hoping so. I mean, listen, I think that this is, and literally this is one of the fastest growing segments of our economy in, throughout the world today. Yeah, for sure. We're looking at opportunities across the world internationally. I'm going to Europe next week. And we're excited by it. And the worldwide expansion, you look at you know what went on in Thailand last week where Thailand announced medical approval, initial approval of their uh, medical program. And look what's happening in Israel. And who would have ever thought the UK would turn like they did when they were so anti-CBD even last year? I want to take a minute to tell you about some really innovative things that our sponsor Cream of the Crop is doing in the cannabis space. Their brand is on fire. They have the fifth best-selling indoor flower brand in the state, and they're profitable, growing their business at 10% a month year to date. They're succeeding by helping cultivators turn profits through operation management and consulting in exchange for supply agreements. By bringing 30 plus years of cultivation experience, award-winning genetics, ultra-efficient SOPs, proprietary nutrient mixes, and their brand, they're able to help both operators who are new to the space and ones who want to just increase efficiency. In fact, they just increased profits for one of their clients by $700,000 per month. Just incredible. But what's really exciting is that they're expanding their highly scalable model beyond California. That's right, they're accepting applications across the country for 2021 and 2022 partnerships. Also, if you're planning to invest in cannabis, you should definitely look at Cream of the Crop because they're doing a capital round in early 2021 to help with their brand's national expansion. To learn more about partnering with Cream of the Crop or investing in their expansion, go to creamofthecropgardens.com. That's creamofthecropgardens.com. Let me switch gears for a second because last year you guys were on the brink of doing an IPO and most people were predicting it was going to be one of the biggest cannabis IPO ever. Everybody was all excited and you paused and you gave all your subscribers and all your loyalists an opportunity to purchase the stock in advance. Why'd you do that? So I think some were candidly, I, I think hindsight's twenty twenty, and I wish I, I chose to go for a SPAC to merge with an existing NASDAQ public company. And when we looked at the economics of that transaction for our shareholders and really at the opportunity that existed from this new Jobs Act Regulation A, it gave us a unique opportunity to really give back to our fans and consumers. And today we have nearly 20,000 shareholders who have subscribed to the Reg A and, you know, you can buy shares online. You know, I think a a great ability to use the traction that the brand has as the most well-known brand in cannabis and really to give back to our consumers who've been so loyal for 40 plus years. I I feel like literally, I, you know, I say it all the time that I pinch myself because I've been given this opportunity as a, as, as a cannabis consumer for so many years. And, you know, I was one of the first medical patients in California back in the late nineties and it's come so far. So it's exciting to see. And it's so consistent with the industry. You cut out bankers and you just went direct to the people. Did you say 20,000? Just, just about 20,000. I don't know the exact number, but about 20,000. Like I said, that's so consistent with the values of this industry. And I think it says a lot about your management style and the approach that you guys are taking. Now, do you ever plan to do an IPO or are you just going to, I mean, why do so, it when you have 20,000? Yeah. So you practically do an IPO. It leads to an IPO. And okay. so we'll go public. I think, with, listen, the SEC's been shut down by the current government snafu and you know where we have this shutdown so it slows down the process a little bit you know we're right on the brink of going public and you know i think we've wrestled with a lot of the challenges that other people and other companies have maybe not in the same way because high times has this brand 
obviously being the brand that we are, we have opportunities in the United States, which is obviously one of the largest markets, you know, the largest market in the world today for cannabis. You know, we still have these antiquated drug laws that prohibit and create hurdles to being a publicly traded company, even though we're just a media company, we're not touching the plant. There would be nothing bigger than a High Times branded dispensary. Whether we go into the dispensary business itself or continue in as a licensing company, think about how many dispensaries are going to be opening over the next 10 years that instead of establishing their own brands, want to just use the High Times brand. That's a great, that is just a crazy thought. I mean, you, you're like, and, the, you're like the Disney of the cannabis industry. Your name is yeah. so, so synonymous with cannabis. Exactly. And there's no one else like it. And that's the unique opportunity that exists for a company like ours. So I started, I was going to ask you what your post IPO expansion plans are, but there's, we don't have time on this, on this podcast to go through all the things that you could do. That is so cool. Well, we've been speaking with Adam Levin, the CEO of High Times Magazine, and all of High Times information and Adam's information will be on the NJ Bulls website, including, well, Adam, I should ask you this ahead of time, but can we put the link to your website where people can purchase more stock if they're interested? We'd love it. We'd love it and encourage it and reach out if anyone has questions. And it's an honor to lead this company and excited about our future. Well, it was an honor to have you on the show, Adam. Hopefully we'll talk to you again down the road. Awesome. Good luck. Thanks. Bye-bye. Crappy's Feel Better Company is a cannabinoid CPG company with a line of easy-to-use CBG, CBD, and CBN products built for the weekend warriors, the weekday Zoomers, and anyone in between. Crappy's next-gen products incorporate pharmaceutical-derived chemistry to precisely blend minor cannabinoids and terpenes, creating a series of proprietary formulas for hyper-targeted use cases. Harnessing a team of experts with over 75 combined years of chemistry experience, the company relies on its novel solubility technology, state-of-the-art delivery, consistent results, and unique eye-catching branding to stand out from the crowd. Crappy's executive team and chemists have created a vast and diverse product pipeline to maintain relevance in a saturated market. To find out how you can participate in Crappy's Feel Better expansion, which includes major retail placements, university-executed clinical trials, IP and patent submissions, GMP and API scale-up, and international distribution? Go to crappiesfeelbetter.com or on Instagram at crappiesfeelbetter. Today's show was made possible by the generous support of our sponsors, like Alt36, the country's premier blockchain payment processing platform that's providing dispensaries and its customers with a safe and secure payment option other than cash. To learn more, go to alt36.com.